Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a blob pattern in Photoshop. We're going to create the blobs and the pattern. I'm going to start with a new file and I'm just going to create a document that is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, but you can make yours whatever size you like. Mine does have a white background at this stage. I'll click create. I'm just going to enlarge my work area by pressing Control or Command zero. I'm going to use the shape tools to draw my blob and in particular the ellipse tool. So I'm just going to click on the ellipse tool. I have a green color currently selected. I'm just going to drag out a fairly large oval. You can see that the fill color here and here are the same. That won't always be the case. So you will want to choose your fill color for your shape from this option up here. Make sure that you've removed the stroke. You won't want a stroke on these. I'm going to choose Edit and then Transform Path and then Warp. That adds a 3 by 3 grid over the shape and you'll see that there are sort of these little handles here. So the dots are handles and each of the intersection points in this grid are selectable and movable. The lines are also movable. So what you can do is just start pulling things around to make a blob shape. And once you've made your first blob shape, you're just going to click the check mark here and say yep that's fine to turn it into a regular path. So let's see the layers palettes which I've got over here but you can get to yours by choosing window and then layers and you'll see that we've got what's called an ellipse. It's no longer an ellipse of course but it is a shape on a separate layer. So let's just make sure that you're using shapes. So let's go back to the ellipse tool and let's make sure that this dialog here or this part of the control bar says shape. If it doesn't say shape just change it and remake your shape. So this time I'm going to use a pink one and it's going to be another oval. I'm going to edit transform path and then warp and I'm again going to make a blob out of this. Now you can make your blobs as complex or as simple as you like for your particular design. Just click away from the shape when you finish making it. Go and reselect your ellipse tool, make an oval or make a circle or somewhere in between. Give it a color, then go to edit, transform path and choose warp and then you're just going to warp it. And you're going to build up these shapes until you have plenty of shapes in your document. Now if you want to quick start this process, that's fairly easy too. You're just going to grab one of your shapes and Alt or Option drag a duplicate of it away. Now provided you're selecting a shape tool here, you'll be able to then just recolor it. So I'm just going to recolor that shape. You can also rotate it, so I'm just selecting the Move tool here and I'm just going to rotate it around a bit to make a different shape from that particular shape. So you could do that pretty quickly to create multiple shapes. You're just going to hold down the Alt or Option key as you drag one away. Select one of these shape tools, it doesn't matter which one you select, just to give you access to the fill colors. I'm going to be using the pastel colors here. So let's just go and pick up a different pastel color. You could go back and choose edit. You can go back and choose edit, transform path and then warp to warp it a bit further if you want to or you could just simply rotate it. I'm going to choose the move tool to do that and then just rotate the shape around. You want to make enough shapes that you'll have sufficient to make your pattern. I'm just going to make one more of these. So I'm just choosing a different fill color. And this one I'm just going to rotate. In the layers panel you'll see your shapes and so you'll be able to perhaps reorder them if you want them in a different order. So just be aware that that is an option too. You don't want to keep these too close to the other ones of the same basic shape. But once you've made a number of these shapes you're ready to go ahead and make your pattern. Now I suggest that you also fill the background as you do this with one of the colors from your palette because it's just going to make life a whole lot easier. So I'm going across here to select my fill color but I'm going to do that from the swatches panel. So again I'm going back down to my pastel colors and I'm going to choose a color to use as my background. With the background layer selected I'm going to press Alt and then Backspace. Now you can press Option Delete on the Mac and what that does is it fills the background with the color that you've chosen. It's just going to help us a little bit later. We won't have empty white gaps in our pattern. 
to make the pattern we're going to be prompted once we start using the pattern preview tool to actually turn these into smart objects so we're going to do that first of all we're going to select a layer here right click and choose convert to smart object and going to do that for every single one of these shapes so now we've got all our shapes, the smart objects, we're ready to use the Pattern Preview tool. So we're going to View and then Pattern Preview. Now it says that this is a Pattern Preview tool, but really it's a Pattern Make tool. So we're going to be prompted that it works best with smart objects. Photoshop's not very intelligent here because we've already made them into smart objects, but we're just getting warned that if we'd forgotten to do that, now would be a really good time to make these shapes into smart objects. We're just going to click OK. Now I'm going to zoom out because I want to see what my pattern's going to look like. So I'm just using the zoom tool. Now choosing yellow as the background's helped us a bit because the background is all filled in, but of course this is not really good blob shapes. So we're just going to the move tool. I've got show transform controls selected so I can see the transform controls. I've also got auto select layer selected. That's really handy for these kind of patterns because it means that I can just click on an object and the layer is automatically selected. Now that won't be the case if you don't have this option selected. So with the move tool selected turn on auto select layer and it's just going to make life a little bit easier for you as you move these shapes around to create your blob pattern. Now I would suggest that you try and cover up as much of the yellow as possible but you don't have to cover it all up because it will be a sort of background colour. You can change these shapes around so you can select on them and rotate them. You could also move them further up the layer stack. You'll see that the shape has been broken into four pieces. That's the power of this pattern preview tool as it's doing the reshaping of the shapes into a pattern sort of layout for you so that you don't have to work out how to do it. So I'm just going to try and cover up as much of the yellow as I can with my shapes. And then you're just going to press enter once you've resized and rescaled a shape. I'm actually going to try and remove the yellow from my design. I'm not really happy with it, so I'm just making sure that I'm covering it up with my shapes. When you're happy with what you've got, you can add this pattern to the Patterns dialog. So we're going to open our Patterns dialog. To do this, you can choose Window and then Patterns. And then you're just going to click on the plus symbol down here and that adds a blob pattern. I'm just going to call this Blob 1. Now before we leave this dialogue and before we leave this pattern process, you can get some extra mileage from your pattern. We've already made a pattern where everything overlaps, so what we could do at this point is make things different colours, for example. I'm just going to drag these colours into different positions. So we've got the same basic pattern, but it's going to look different because all the colours are layered in different layering so that the colours at the top are going to show up a little bit more than the colours at the bottom because we've rearranged those colours the pattern's going to be different. So let's go to patterns, let's click the plus sign and let's call this blob 2 and I'll make another one before we leave here. It's blob 3. Once you've finished with this dialogue, you're going to choose View and then Turn Off Pattern Preview and that takes you back to your document. Now you can just save this document away because it's going to be easy enough for you to come and to change your pattern in future. Now one of the ways that you could change the look of your pattern is to actually throw a hue saturation adjustment layer on top of everything. I'm going to do that with Layer, New Adjustment Layer. I'm going to choose Hue Saturation and click OK. What I'm going to do is walk my colours around. So by just dragging on the hue slider, I can get different colours in my basic design. We'll go to View and then Pattern Preview. And again, this is a pattern. It's the exact same pattern as we had previously, but this time it's got different colours in it. Now you could limit the colour change to just the layer below by clicking on the Hue Saturation Adjustment layer and choosing Layer, 
create clipping mask and then the color change will only affect the layer immediately below that hue saturation adjustment layer. So you could use this to just change one color by creating this clipping mask or you can use it to change the entire pattern by creating a hue adjustment layer on top of everything, not limiting it just to the layer immediately below. I'm finished with this dialog right now. Let's go and see what our actual design looks like at work. So I'm going to choose File and New and I'm going to create a document that's 3500 by 3500 pixels in size. That's just larger than the starting document that we had previously. I'm going to view my layers palette with Window and then Layers. I'm going to add a new layer that my pattern will go into. Let's go and get our Patterns dialog and the last of these patterns, the last three, are ones that I've just made in this video. So I'm just going to click on each of them in turn and these are the patterns that we have made. This is one that I made earlier with different colors obviously. But you can make these blob patterns quite easily in Photoshop by making your own blobs and then just converting them into a pattern using the new Pattern Preview tool. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.